Hey YouTube, welcome back to Homestead in a Box. My name is Leah and I'm super excited to have you here today to talk to you about herbs. This year I have like this, I have like a really big goal, okay, of having like a natural medicine cabinet. I mean, I know it might sound far-fetched to some, but it's something that I just want. Uh, I want for, I've wanted for a while now. Um, so I figured the best way to be able to obtain that goal is to grow all of my herbs myself. So I have started off here with a few herbs and I'm going to explain why I chose these herbs and what they are and how easy they are to start. If you guys want to just start with something small in your home that you can grow year round, you can go right now and start them right now. Grab you some herbs. It's a great project for your kids that are at home. They can plant some seeds, watch them grow, watch mom and dad use it in spaghetti or a chicken dish or just whatever. I'm going to give you guys some recipes you can use with them, some medicinal purposes that people use them for, and a few other tips and tricks with the herbs that I'm growing and why I'm growing them. So come with me and let's grow some herbs. Finishing up the lavender here, I'm just going to kind of cover it. Uh, several reasons I love lavender. Uh, I have love lavender lemonade. Uh, people use them in herbal teas. The smell of growing lavender is absolutely amazing. I diffuse it at night to help me with sleep. They say that it can help with anxiety and depression. I am not a doctor here. So, uh, Next, we're going to move into rosemary. I love rosemary. Um, anything chicken with rosemary is so delicious. Um... And I think it's super awesome just to be able to use the seasonings that, you know, you're growing yourself. Um, another thing with rosemary, recently I have found people using it for um, hair, hair care. And so I'm going to make my own shampoo bars with some rosemary. Uh, next I'm going to be doing some thyme. Uh, thyme is great for soups and sauces. Um, it's also, if you look on the back of your Italian seasoning that you purchase from grocery stores and stuff. Thyme is one of the seasonings in that. Italian seasoning, um, you can steep it for sore throats. Um, they say it has great medicinal benefits for lowering blood, blood pressure. You can use it for disinfectants, things like that. Marjoram, I'm growing also. Uh, this is the only plant I'm growing that I'm growing as an annual, which means I have to grow, replant it every single year. Um, we're barely surface sowing it. It does require light. Uh, again, it's another anti-inflammatory. And it says it can kind of help with hormonal uh, issues. So, I need that. Uh, it does require light. Um, people use this for things like goulash. Um, uh, it has like a spicier hint to it. Uh, I've seen people use it in omelets, but mainly I've seen a lot of people, because of the spiciness, they do use it in a lot of goulash recipes. Um, also, again, it has some calming properties um, and positive effects on the nervous system. I will repeat this. I am not a doctor and I am not administering a prescription. I'm just saying these are some benefits of the herbs that I'm growing. You can do your own research and come up with your own herbs that you want to grow and for why. These are just what I'm growing and why I'm growing them. Um, I'm also growing lemongrass. Uh, it's going to require heat too and all of these herbs I'm sowing very thickly. Uh, you have to sow herbs pretty thick because they have a spotty germination rate. Um, lemongrass, if you've ever had Thai cuisine or Chinese, things like that, you've probably ate lemongrass. They look a lot like shallots to me. Um, they smell like lemon. And lemon is just like a mood boosting in general. I diffuse lemon every single morning at my desk whenever I wake up. Um, I love the smell of lemon. I put it in my water. Um, they also say that it can help with headaches, things like that. Uh, people use lemongrass and stir fries. Uh, you can pretty much use it in place of um, almost like a shallot. Um, the last thing I'm going to be planting is dill. And I'm doing dill mainly because I plan on pickling a lot of several things this summer. And um, several pickling recipes I've read, like you can toss a, a spruce of dill in there that you've grown yourself and it helps... Uh, with the dill flavor and so I just think that would be really cool to do. Um, dill they say you can uh, steep it also for like an herbal tea to help with abdominal pain, headaches, 
um, the smell of it. Some people like the smell of it. Uh, some people don't like the smell of it. It's kind of, it can grow wild or you can grow it in a container. It's just going to kind of be of your own personal option. All right. Thanks so much guys for coming, hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it very, very much. I'm always sending you good vibes. Send somebody to somebody that you might know. If you like this video, subscribe, like the video, and click the notification bell. That way you get notified every Tuesday and Thursday morning when I release new videos for you guys. Um, if you want to check out me planting more herbs and things like that and some flowers, head over to my Instagram at Homestead in the Box and be sure to follow us there because that's where I share a lot of our daily, a lot of the daily things that I'm doing here at home. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, as always, I'm sending you good vibes. Send somebody that else that might need them. Thanks y'all.